welcome back to the channel guys um, so today we have here a very common problem um, these days which is the um, on the Civic from 2004 5 up to 2008 um, this is the um, power steering module which um, is a very common problem on these cars uh, you can see here the, the number on this one it's the uh, 39980 SMG G1 this is located on the A pillar on the driver side on the, if you drive on the left uh, above the clutch pedal uh, right on the on the pillar there so um, the symptoms of this car is um, you start the car you get the really big uh, steering uh, light on the dashboard warning you that you have no power steering it's extremely hard to drive without this uh, usually this is the problem uh, on the car uh, meaning this is the culprit that you don't have power steering sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't sometimes you start the car it's not working uh, you drive off after a few feet or a few meters it starts working again so let's open this um, and see what the problem is uh, the symptoms it's um, it's like a relay it feels like a relay it's not clicking so I opened this already I removed the screws open these little tabs here just bend them out and then just pop this open this is what it looks like inside as you can see it feels and it looks like there is no relay or anything inside but after close inspection I found that we need to separate the top board from the bottom board so we can actually access the relays so I'm just going to pause the video and start um, removing everything uh, we need to to pop this this top part off and hopefully We'll, we can get to the bottom of the problem on this unit so I'm just going to pause now and um, start to desolder well, these ones here I have to pop these ones open uh, I have to desolder these ones and uh, I believe I believe that's it. Okay, so I'm just going to start to do this and we'll talk. So first off, um, we have to cut these small brackets like put a symbol like this, and this one goes like that. We just cut them. Uh, these will take. Uh, solder to put back together but I cut them because these are spot welded so we are going to use that later now I'm going to tackle this um, these solder uh, joints like right here and uh, as far as I can see I think that these ones need to go as well uh, I already took the bolts uh, that holded the, the top um, board in place so let's see okay so this is why what, what we have here so you have to remove you have to cut these as i showed you earlier um, then you have to desolder these ones these ones they are one two three four right here and then there's one on this side and two on this side and after that just remove the, the top part of the um, the board here so I can see already that I have 
a burn track here. No problem, I can fix it later. Yeah, it's fixable. No worries. So these are the relays. One, two, three relays. So one of them is giving us the problems <clears throat> that we are experiencing. What I was thinking was, because this is uh, so much work, that maybe we could somehow find which pins come for the relays and then actually after that use an external relay or three in this case but now I'm going to remove all these screws and I'm trying to I'm gonna try to um, see what type of relays are these are and um, if it's uh, serviceable and um, trying to identify which one is uh, burned Okay, so I had to remove a few screws. I had to cut this uh, plastic right here because there are two screws that are under uh, this plastic, uh, the, this black plastic here. Uh, the thing is that, and uh, this one as well, but to get to them, you would have to desolder these uh, tabs, which in this case would be all of these. And, you know, it's too, too, too much work. I rather just cut the plastic and let the screws accessible for the next time. So I remove this one, this one here, to the to there underneath the plastic cover, another one here underneath the plastic, one there, and a big one here. <clears throat> After that, this is kind of uh, you know glued, not glued. It's the 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 paste, the thermal paste that they applied. So now we just removed it. Well, these ones were actually glued. You can tell by the, the way this was built that this was uh, never meant to be open and um, Honda didn't want us to, to mess with this. But you know us, uh, we don't like to be told what to do. So we actually opened this and uh, we are working on it. So, this is a um, regular relays right here, which is this one, this one, and this one. Uh, I'm going to cut these and uh, see which one is which. But uh, what I'm going to also do is, after that, I'm going to get my multimeter here my trusty multimeter and I'm going to I'm gonna to try to identify which pin is which so okay this is this one this is this one the signal and the signal to this one is this one and the signal to this one is this one okay so now Okay, so I know that this here is this one. Nice. Now I want to find this one. It's it's the exit. So I think we can actually study a way to put some external relays on the, onto this. But um, 
for now that's not what we're doing let's just see if i can cut this with this uh yeah, more or less let's see there's nothing to lose so let me just i broke my well this is not the way to i'm going to go to the other side and um cut these and remove the relays so we can <clears throat> see which one is which so as i can see these are the um, the switched power and these are the, this is the bridge yeah this is coming from the car this is going to here this one and uh, this one is going here, and this one is going here, for sure, that's what it is. But yeah, let me just check. Let's see if they, the cover comes off. Sometimes these relays, most of them, the cover doesn't come out. Anyway, <clears throat> so I was wondering already. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut all these pins because I can solder them in place afterwards and uh, check um, which relay it's uh, gone. So guys, I was on my way uh, cutting these uh, relays out and I was thinking, uh, I might as well change all three of them. And the reason, the reason for this is Sometimes um, the power steering worked just fine. What I mean by this is that um, it's going to be hard to tell you exactly when the um, camera battery died, so I'm just I'm now filming with my phone. Uh, as I was saying, I was about to cut all those legs to remove the, the three relays. And I was uh, thinking that sometimes the, the, the power steering worked. So it's going to be difficult to see which one is actually burnt. And I thought, well, this is so much work that I uh, might as well change all three of them. So this is the part number here. Let me see. I'm sorry for the, the picture quality. Uh, this is a standard for uh, leg uh, relay. Uh, but if you want to put the exactly same part number, this is what it is. Uh, Tyco Siemens 1747808-1, 12 volts, uh, minus plus 06435. All three are exactly the same part number. Everything is exactly the same. So after that, you just have to refit and put all those screws back on. Um, that <clears throat> you have to be careful to line all the pins. You see, it's kind of hard to do with that one hand. This, let me see if it goes in. Okay, so I have all the pins aligned down here. I'm going to try and align these ones up there. Okay, but you get the picture. Just put everything back in reverse and um, check, double check your solder points. Uh, you have to solder these pieces here that came off this one. that we cut earlier maybe, yeah, maybe it's like this okay and after it's in place you can just solder there and there and there's another one here it pretty much it's just uh, a bridge between these two connectors here so that close everything put it back in the car 
if you have a diagnostic tool just um, <coughs> reset the, um, the the steering angle uh, don't forget to remove the battery first the other the hardest part on this job is actually the uh, the soldering process and um, maybe as hard or even harder is to remove this part from the car there are three bolts 10 millimeters they are uh, the the bottom one is actually really simple the other ones uh, be prepared to have some cuts on your hands because there's all a lot of sharp um, metal plate there everywhere under the, um, the fuse box uh, so yeah guys uh, I'll be making another video about this uh, when I'm going to refit this in the car um, uh, I can use it in another car of course but I have to you have to pay attention to the um, to the park number. I have another car here that the guy uh, bought another used unit of this but it wasn't a G1 it was a G2 and um, the car it came from had 17 inch wheels and everything so we had after that we had to recode the, the unit itself uh, if you get the same part number the G1 and everything um, just plug and play reset the uh, steering angle and uh, you're good to go so yeah guys if you like this um, this video please uh, don't forget thumbs up um, you can subscribe for more content on like this and um, hopefully I can help someone with this in my country is actually actually very difficult to find these types of relays even though even though listen to this this is built in my country the Tycho Siemens plant is actually here in my country but they sell them or they export them all to Germany so I have to buy it from there um, if I cannot find it someone that already bought it so to sell it otherwise I'm going to use um, some well actually that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use some uh, universal relays for legged ones see if it works if it does I'm going to make a video so you don't have to buy expensive relays you just can go to your auto parts store and get the universal uh, relays for legged relays and just repair your uh, your unit for your car okay guys so please subscribe help the channel so i can make more um, v videos with this type of content um, don't forget don't cut these with a small uh, pliers otherwise it will happen the same as it happened to mine in this video it broke uh, anyway this is what it what it's left of it yeah I shouldn't have done that well anyway um, so yeah guys this so for the sake of this video so I don't want to keep you waiting anymore um, this is a time-consuming job but it's well worth um, doing it yourself if you have the tools and the knowledge to do this to um, desolder uh, the solder points you don't want to damage those because they go through the board to the next side i have in my case i have to fix this track here as you can see there it's lifted that's not a problem also i can fix it but um yeah guys hopefully you enjoy this help hopefully help someone and um see you next video